Okay, how about now? I think you can hear me now. I don't know what is happening. I have this, uh, we'll call it a doohickey, <laughs> that I plug everything into, and it has been iffy. Iffy, is that a good word? Um, I don't like technology. All right, I'm glad you can hear me. And yes, I'm wearing a Savannah. I texted my friend this morning that I was feeling super fancy because I'm wearing real pants, as in the not, okay, well, they are stretchy, but like blue jeans, like skinny jeans. And I was wearing uh, flats. I am a strict, fuzziest wool socks. I can, like, I have winter socks that I get out. I know I live in Georgia. Let's just, let's look beyond that. But I only, like, I have to have warm feet. Um, yay! Hi, Nikki! I feel like I haven't seen you online in a while. It is lovely to see your name again. I hope, what is the weather like in Jerusalem right now? Because I'm clueless. Um, but yeah, I texted her this morning. I'm like, I'm just saying. Not only am I wearing real pants, we'll put that in quotes, but I'm also wearing flats. Like, what? <laughs> and my feet are freezing. <laughs> Yeah, like, I decided, I mean, I wanted to have, like, the whole package on, because it's a super cute, I don't think you'll be able to see all of it. Wait, I'm slipping. But, like, I think it pairs really nicely with skinny jeans. And uh, if I had a, um, I don't keep my skirts out in the winter, <laughs> but a, a little fitted skirt, I think that would be nice, too. I'm also in front of a bay window, and no matter what our builder told us, these windows are, they're, they're cold. Anyway, good morning. Thank you. I'm, I'm like super excited. I know. I typically like never care about what, like I want my feet to be warm. Above all else, they must be warm. I have these, I think they're Merrells. Maybe, I don't know, something. I don't pay attention, but they are the fuzziest shoes with laces, like, and it'll be 60 degrees and I'm wearing my fuzzy boots. <laughs> so I couldn't find my, like, I have brown boots that I could have worn with these jeans and I might need that. Oh, thank you. Man, you're on a school bus for a field trip. Like, my mind is blown. I've never, um, I have a friend who volunteers for every single field trip with her kids classes. She has two girls. And so she just always volunteers. And I feel like I don't have to because I know her and she's there. But seriously, like, I don't know. I feel like I have to box out if I really want to volunteer here. Like I'm never the first person to volunteer. Some of it would be fun though. <laughs> so good morning. I'm celebrating today. It is not my birthday yet. I have a whole nother month I have to wait. But I got my first pattern of 2022 out. I mean, if I had a confetti cannon, I would I would blow it right now. 48 and we had snow. See, that's like that's my kind of snow, Nikki. 48 degrees Fahrenheit and snow, beautiful and gone in 24 hours. I don't like it when it's like gray and pecked on the side of the road. That's I want it beautiful. And then I want to be able to go get my toilet paper. <laughs> um, so if you remember. I was working on a sweatshirt and I had gone through several iterations of it and it just was not making my heart sing. And so I put it to the side and I wanted um, something beautiful because I struggle in February. It is no secret. I'm very vocal about this because February is the worst. <laughs> it is usually gray and cold and horrible. And so I needed something either very cuddly, which is my normal to go, you know, go to, or um, something very beautiful. And this year, I don't I think this might be, actually, I wrote it down. This is the first year that I've opted for something beautiful. Last year, I opted for something beautiful on my birthday. So, you know, that makes sense. My internet, so we paid a fortune to have like this mesh system installed. It's very fancy. I don't know. And it all stems from the fact that we have too many children. And when they're home for virtual school, we were unable. And both my husband and I work out of the house. I'm giving you a lot of reasons. I don't need to defend myself, but whatever. Um, it wasn't working. <laughs> so we have one child home with us this week because her whole class got relegated to... Um, oh. <laughs> 
um, her whole class got relegated to virtual because of too many COVID cases. My children do not have COVID that I know of. They've all been tested repeatedly, but it keeps coming back negative despite them not feeling 100%. Thank you. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. Oh, my kids would be so proud of me. By the way, I went to see... So West Side Story is not my favorite musical. I'm not a super cultured musical person anyway. But we went to see the new one. It was absolutely gorgeous. I loved it. It blows that 1950s one that we had to watch in school out of the water. Abs highly, highly recommend. Hello from Brazil. Who? Wait, I have to go over to Facebook and see if I can find myself because that's just too exciting and I need to see a name. Um, so I highly, highly recommend the new West Side Story. I hear a child outside my door. No, you cannot have jello. Eat some real food. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, hi. So exciting. Do you want to say hi? Okay, come on. I don't know. You're not wearing any five out of four. I don't know if you can say hi. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> so this is Sydney. She's nine. And she's... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm on a rolly chair. Oh, I danced the whole ride and rode harder. Oh, can't wait, Melissa. I, that might be what I do today. So Melissa said she did this Dennis Eminem ride. I got to hear Nellie on the way to preschool this morning. I was pretty pumped. Um, yeah, Melissa, I'm gonna I'm gonna look for that because that is my jam. And I didn't get to exercise yesterday. It was a crazy day, and today is not looking any better. It's gonna be one of those rapid um. exercise at like 8 p.m. Okay. I guess we do, no, we don't have that little mini blender anymore. We broke it. Go, go see if Daddy's in a meeting. See if he can make you an egg. I just had a turkey sandwich. You got it? Oh, we don't have any bread. We are batting a thousand over here today. All right. Bye. 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 When 11.15 is your next class? It's 11. 11. Okay. Oh, good. That's what I need. Hey, Wisconsin's pretty, though. I went to an interview at the Wisconsin, uh, University of Wisconsin-Madison, and I loved it. Um, we just couldn't find a job for my husband, so we ended up in D.C. Sliding doors and all that. Oh, my gosh. Yes. You have 50 minutes, 5 zero. If you said an alarm. Okay. Okay. All right. Sorry. Um, so, yeah. Wow. That totally interrupted me. Anyway, so we have my first pattern of 2022 is being released today. At first, it started as just a blouse, which is what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> Those are my modeling shots. I'm so, so talented. Um, but then at like literally the day that I put it into testing, I like had this moment where I was like, I can make this a dress. <laughs> and my like we only had a week turnaround and they just knocked it out of the park. Um, we're still waiting for a few pictures to trickle in just because a week is short, y'all. Can you believe that in my first several years, Rochelle's probably not awake yet, or she's getting her kids ready for school. But in my first several years, all of our tests were one week. Um, it was stressful. And it was like, like rapid fire. I had to like stay on the ball, stay roll, you know. It was bananas. <laughs> And so we backed up to two weeks. And now when I turn around and ask people for one week, like usually it's like crickets. It's very hard to get enough testers. But we did it. We um we found testers. They were excited about the dress option, which I knew like if I can come up, I just like couldn't picture it. And I ended up putting an inverted pleat in the back, which gave it a lot more room over the hips and then waist ties. And I tried it out. Um, I haven't put arms on mine yet. Not arms. Uh, I'm making a sleeveless one. And now I can't even find it. I showed it last week. You're good. Um, but it is so cute. And so I'm going to show you some photos. Let's see. I don't think you need to see on my Facebook screen, but whatever. Um, so the hardest part about winter is, let me see if I can get a picture of the camera overlay. Boom. Well, that's a little big. <laughs> I'm going to put me over here. I just like being able to see myself. Um, the hardest part about doing a pattern in February are photos. It is awful. <laughs> 
So we get a lot of indoor photos, which is totally fine. Um, but like the lighting outside is usually a cloud cover, which makes white very difficult to um, show the details. A lot of times, like one tester was in the Massachusetts area and they were expecting like a full out blizzard with 30 inches and like crazy wind speeds. And I mean, it was just like, I'm over here in Georgia. Um, <laughs> so it's always difficult and it's difficult to see the little nuances that make this pattern special, which is really frustrating when you're trying to pick a pattern for the lead image to grab people's attention. Just a little background. Anyway, so the Savannah blouse and dress features both puff sleeves, which is what I'm wearing and which is what both of these photos you can see on your screen are. It's a V-neck with a, a thin placket that's stacked a little bit at the bottom. It does have bust starts. Now don't start crying, okay? Because it's a woven pattern, like woven apparel, right? So we're going for like the flowy wovens. I'm wearing a bubble crepe. My other one is a rayon shelly. They're beautiful fabrics. You will fall in love with these fabrics. They're, they're not hard to sew with, I promise. promise. And sometimes like I actually feel like sewing with a woven and doing my fitting adjustments is actually easier because when I then do my final in a woven, it's easier to match the fabric type than with knits sometimes. Because, you know, if you get a different fabric type for your muslin than your final, the fit is different. And you're like, <laughs> raise your hand if that's happened with anyone. Plus, there's a ton of information. I did a new video on how to do a full bust adjustment with a dart. Then I also did... Um, some a fitting section in your back about finding your waist, identifying it on the pattern, identifying your bust point, how to lower the darts. The world is your oyster. Plus we have like a super active Facebook group. And so, yeah. Quilting cotton is gonna look boxy. I do not suggest it with quilting cotton because you're gonna be kinda like, meh, you're gonna be a little like, this is not beautiful. I mean, it'll be cute because it's a cute fabric. There's a ton of choices. But like it's not gonna flow. Um, everything's gonna just look boxy. There's no other word for it. So anyway, here are two of our testers. It's the long sleeve. I, I'm pretty sure this is the the puff sleeve and the short sleeve, both shirt options. So let's see. Here's the sleeveless. I like this one because you can really see the inverted pleat on the back. And I love that she used a different color for her um, binding. I think it really is a nice little pop. So the shirt, um, you can make the inverted pleat uh, on the shirt or the dress. Mine doesn't have it. So let me see if you can. Oh, you probably can't see it because I'm small. Anyway. Yay. Hi, Melissa. I'm so glad. <laughs> Good morning. I was fighting my affiliate thing this morning. It's awful. Anyway. So we have the sleeveless version. Here's the lead image that I ended up going with because you could see so much detail. And um, it, has a, it has a shoulder yoke, so you can, hopefully you can see this. It has really soft gathering right here, which I just, I thought like, I just added a little, a little touch to it. I loved it. Me being me, like the, the sleeves started out super long and I was like, they need to be long. And everybody was like, these are crazy long. Like I actually want to see the elastic detail. Um, and so that was really helpful for me. You can also do a bishop sleeve. So if you don't like the puff sleeve look, I was actually not sure that I would love it because I had broad shoulders, but I, I'm a kind of a convert. In this fabric, it doesn't make me look like a linebacker, so I'm kind of digging it. I feel like Agent Carter. I'm just saying. I'm going to have Ginny do my hair in a victory roll, and we're going to go out on the town. <laughs> I don't know where I come up with this, though. <laughs> anyway, so you can do the bishop sleeve. Um, that means it has a, a smooth shoulder cap, which you can see right here on the blue one. And then you can choose to either finish it in elastic like the puff sleeve or leave it open. And then here's the lovely Lorene. She also did the bishop sleeve, but it has the elastic at the bottom. So then we get into some shirt options. Oh, somebody asked the meaning of five out of four. So it, once upon a time, <laughs> as in seven years ago, I... um. I had five babies and four tries. And trying to come up with a business name is not my forte. Like, I'm not good at it. And it was my husband who came up with that. And then, like, within, I mean, the twins had, were just born when five out of four started. They were, like, about to be two, I guess, or in there. Yeah. Anyway, they were, like, 18 months old or something. 
And um, he came up with five out of four. Well, fast forward four years, he talks me into number six. And everybody's like, are you going to change the name? And I'm like, yeah, absolutely not. We're done here. <laughs> but it also makes me laugh. Like, I'm a, I'm a math nerd. And so I love humor about, like, five out of four doctors agree. Eh, it's the little things in life. Okay, so here's one of the dress options. Um, I just love it so much. And then I have another one where you can see the back. And there are pockets. We're going to talk to Heidi about raising these pockets up. I think something got lost here. But um, it has waist ties that just cinch it in just enough. So I wanted something that gave me a little bit more shaping, but didn't involve needing body wear. I don't own things like Spanx because um, I don't dress up. I don't know. Uh, more power to you if that's your jam. I just, that's, I've never spent that money. Um, part of it is that my husband works out of the house and like his company's in DC and I've never gone to like an office party <laughs> or I haven't in nine years. Anywho. And before that it was always like themed like crazy Christmas sweater. Um, so yeah, now you get the front and back view on Heidi's. It's just so pretty. I think that's all I have. Yep. So come back to me. Oh, look, you can still see me here, too. I'm a twin. <laughs> um, exactly. Six out of seven dwarfs aren't happy. <laughs> and I agree. Six out of five doesn't have the same ring to it. You know what's funny? So when I first started sewing, for all the new people out there, I have not been sewing my whole life. My grandmother is probably... She would have a good laugh out of this story. My mother laughs about this. She's not online because she's enjoying Jekyll Island. Hmm. I, I love Jekyll Island, by the way. Anyway, focusing. <laughs> I did not sew as a kid. I was way too busy being grubby and climbing trees and running around. And my mom was like, don't you want to learn to sew? And I'm like, absolutely not. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> Fast forward to like in my 30s, early, maybe turning 30. How old is Kellen? Kellen's 11. I was pregnant with Kellen, and I had a friend who sewed quilts, and I up and decided that I wanted to get a present for the my older two girls when Kellen was born. I don't know, but I wanted it to be like something that lasted, and I decided to make them quilts, and y'all know where this story is going. Those quilts were more expensive than they would have been if I had bought them at like Pottery Barn, Land of Nod, something fancy. I don't even know the fancy kids stores. Um... Because I went to, like, the local quilting shop and bought, like, I was actually Amy Butler's Love fabric line. And they're absolutely gorgeous. And I love them. But, yes. Um, so, he's 11. I've been sewing for 11 years. I used to keep that on the DL because it made me feel like an imposter. But then I realized, like, the sheer number of hours I put into it. When, um, Eileen, I have six kids. And it includes a set of twins. So, they range, they're four um, is my youngest, that's Miss Stella, who was recently in the Penny Pajamas in the Facebook group. And then I have nine-year-old twin girls. You just met one of them, um, Sydney. I have an 11-year-old boy, my only boy. I imagined myself with four boys. That did not happen. A 13-year-old girl and a 15-year-old girl. Um, it is hard to run around and climb trees when you're pregnant. <laughs> it's hard to move. I was very good at being pregnant. <laughs> It started as a nap time activity. So mine, um, yeah, that was it. Like, I don't even, I mean, I had a friend. It was all Melanie's influence. Thank you, Melanie. <laughs> I remember her like saying like, hey, how about I just give you some fabric? Jenny was turning two. I was making crayon rolls for the birthday. And, um, and like, if you look at our blog on the early days, we have the birthday bunting, the superhero cape towels, and I'm almost positive there's a crayon roll on there as well. Those are all things that I made in my early, early days of sewing. The superhero towel capes, I used to sell those for 25 bucks a pop on Etsy. You don't make a ton of money, but like they were a seller because they're so dang cute. I once had like a whole group of adults order them and we still use them at our house. Um, once a year for book week. There you go. <laughs> it is a lot of wedding. Um, I really hope they elope. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I kid. I'm sorry. Um, small weddings, preferably somewhere free. <laughs> I can't think about that. I like literally can't even get past college at this point. Um, so yeah. 
Anywho, back to sewing. So when I first started sewing, my friend Melanie was like, hey, just come over and I'll give you some fabric. And I saw all this beautiful fabric. I was like, no, I can't just take your fabric. Oh my gosh, if y'all lived local, I'd be like, come over, just take some fabric. <laughs> I keep like, try. I just got rid of a whole bunch in the five out of four family D stash. And, um, which I'm not, I'm never going to sell my own fabric and like be responsible for cutting it and sing it, sending it out. Like it's not in my wheelhouse. That is not a, not something I'm good at. But um, it was nice to, like, spread the love around. <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. My dad used to say by the third wedding, he'd say there was a ladder that could reach the second. I think the ladder is, oh, no, we find, no, it's still there. We're terrible. We're taking down our Christmas lights finally because it's February. <laughs> I tried to get my husband to leave them up because February is such a hard month for me, and he's like, how about we just like really focus on your birthday? I'm like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> so five out of four Savannah. It includes the shoulder yoke and soft draping. The shoulder yoke, oh, it's actually, this is the muslin, um, goes to like mid back. And then you have the option of the inverted pleat to give you more room over the back hips, shirt or knee length dress, waist ties. You get the puff sleeves. The bishop sleeves, all three links, or sleeveless. And it's just so lovely. So, while it might not be warm enough to wear this where you are, make something pretty. That's my that's gonna be my motto for February. Make something pretty. Unless I do a cozy pattern, then <laughs> but for right now, the motto is make something pretty. So beyond that, this will be on sale through Sunday, so make sure you grab it. So as a lot of you know, we gave away a free pattern last week. Is this the most business savvy thing I've done? <gasps> no. <laughs> I did not go to business school. I'm a history major. I was, it was strictly an emotional decision. I'll go with that. I don't know. This is when I need to pull Rochelle online. Um, I totally agree. It's warm enough inside the house to wear whatever. So... No, there's not a way to get the flutter sleeve without buying the Sophie. I don't do add-ons. I'm sorry. It's too it's too hard to keep track of everything. I want to be in Mexico. What? Um but you can buy the Sophie pattern and get the flutter sleeve and the circle sleeve from that and they will work. They should work on the um Savannah as well. Good morning. So we um are you ready for this because we had a little problem with the website, and thank you to NerdPress. That's my website administrator. They do all my security stuff. Um, and thank goodness they're on the West Coast. <laughs> uh, they got on the ball and started reaching out to, like, our server host. I don't know these things. You should be able to switch the sleeves, yes, between Sophie and... Um, oh, it is. I agree. Sophie is 100% worth it. That has been my only modeling debut. Um, my friend Jen from Freckled Flower Photography like actually got me in a magazine wearing the Sophie. So like, that's an awesome pattern. Anywho, um, and it comes with a maxi. So focusing. We had some website issues. I apologize. I did not see that coming. And part of the reason I didn't see it coming is compared to the last time we did this two years ago, we had a jump of roughly like two and a half times the business, <laughs> maybe almost three times the amount of people getting a free pattern. A, a more, I will, I will take the brunt of this. Yes, it was slow. It, it stopped. It crashed. We crashed the server. So I upgraded it and then I upgraded it again. So, um, hopefully that's worthwhile <laughs> because it can't go backwards now that I've upgraded the server. So the good news is the website should not be slow. Um, the bad news is I'm paying monthly for that. But that's not bad news. It's all good news focused on growth. But we did get it worked out. Hopefully you got your pattern. I I'm a, I, like, I take it very personally, like when people are grumpy. Um, and you need to know, like I'm not going to post pictures of my kids hungry or, you know, things like that. But... Um, we gave away over 8,000 patterns. Like, you can do some math. 
and know that that is like, I'm getting a little teary eyed. Like that's a tremendous impact on a small business. Um, and so while I did it because I'm exhausted right now and you can hear like, I'm going to take a little break and massage my throat so I don't start crying on screen. (laughs) Um, like I find COVID emotionally exhausting. I have six kids. Every time I turn around, I'm getting a high risk notification. Things are getting canceled. Things are, I mean, it's just like one thing after another. Um, Oh, I like that. For my birthday, we will make that a challenge. A sew up your free pattern and share. I I like this. We got to come up with a good price. Um, so yeah, like that, that was a huge amount of pattern. And hats off to Rochelle, who also like had to just be tagged a lot. Like she gets paid per pattern that she sells. Like that's how it works here at five out of four. And um, she agreed to it. Like this is a, a big impact when you... Um, Yeah, when you do something like that. So have a little compassion, please. Like we did our best Um, and we all acted very quickly. I had like Cindy and Kim and Lindsay um, were all like letting people. I mean, we had over 20 orders a minute at one point, the website administrator said. So like it was bananas. And during all of this, not to like be woe is me, but Sydney has been sick for like so long. She doesn't have COVID. We can't quite figure out what it was. I was at the pediatrician with her. We're getting blood drawn, like all these tests run. I mean, it was just like one thing after another. Um, the mods were totally hopping. <laughs> we did. Oh, um, I know Nancy Raglan was really popular. And, uh, oh, I'm drawn. Um, let me, oh, you know what? I can't actually tell you right now. I was going to go in and look. I can honestly tell, I'm fighting my, I'm trying to pay my affiliates right now because it's the first of the month and I pay them for last month and I'm fighting my affiliate plugin. It's a whole nother story. Oh, yay. (laughs) I love it. Ran will be beautiful. I've been shocked by how many people have already made their free pattern. Like that's super fun. Um, so anyway, I was, I remember being surprised. Maybe if Kim and Cindy remember, I know Rochelle looked and I was like, those were the most popular patterns. I think it was Edith actually. Now that I see that, I think it was Nancy Raglan and Edith. Um, and then we had the, uh, Aspen vest on sale. Yeah. Aspen or the ascent, the women's vest. I can't remember the name right now. Um, yeah, I think Sophie was sure was high. I did, I missed what Cindy said. Uh, Edith, yeah, Edith and Sophie, yeah. I mean, it was it was interesting because the one that wasn't on the top of that list that is normally like always in the top five was the agility, and I don't know if that's just like a seasonal thing. People weren't quite thinking bathing suit. I don't know. I don't know. Is he from good family? I don't know. (laughs) So do you want to see what Rochelle is working on? Because she went for cozy. She went for cozy and cool. Um, let me see about, hold on. Yay. Oh my gosh. And there, one person already, um, that's right, Margie. Cindy has that blog post for the Annabeth. Uh, with the pockets. It's super cute. And um, somebody already sewed up their color block Annabeth and it's so cute. Oh, the Lara swimsuit. Man, I love those little flutter sleeves on the Lara swimsuit. All right. So I'm going to show you this two different ways. Oh my gosh, my stomach is growling. What is happening? (laughs) Okay. So here is um, Rochelle's new pattern. This is the Ricky sweatshirt, which I was like, the way she spelled Ricky confused me. But, you know, she names her patterns for um, songs. And, uh, yeah, Ricky, don't lose that number. Uh, so then I'll show you this, too. This just show it's a sweatshirt um, with this really cool quilting. Like, I, I mean, this is math, y'all. Like, she killed it. So it's pretty exciting. 
So if you saw in her picture, let's go back to primary display, camera one. She did the same colors right here, but if you go back to the drawing, you can actually see that it, it's four different. So you can do it however you want there. So this is gonna be super, super exciting um, and fun. I've seen a ton of quilted stuff around right now. So I, I really think she nailed this. Um, I, she is putting this into testing, I think like momentarily. I'm almost positive it's like today. <laughs> They are always something fun and different. Rochelle is the best. She just had a birthday too. Um, so happy birthday, Rochelle. <laughs> so um, the other thing that I was looking at are, you, so you know that I'm a huge goal setter. And I'm going to aim this a lot at the people who are new in case you're new. Oh, it will be cozy with ferns. Um, so I'm a goal setter. Last year I set like crazy high goals. And then about May, I like jumped off the wagon and hung out with my kids at the pool all summer. Um, <laughs> and it was just, I was struggling. It was a struggle. And it was just COVID and like being exhausted. And the kids, like whenever the kids are home, like I don't get to work. And I love working. I love what I do. But that's just how we roll here. It's cool. So... I was looking, I was really curious how many patterns I came out with last year because it wasn't a great year for five out of four or for me. Um, and I was really surprised by this. So I came out with Lester, which um, I get, I did Leslie in December and then Lester in January. And I can honestly say that my Leslie, if you haven't seen the Leslie sweatshirt, go check it out. It is a top, I would say it's a top five sweatshirt for me, especially made from like a, um, what is that stuff called from So So English that I wear all the time? Total brain fart. Like super fleece situation. It's like sweatshirt fabric with fleece on the inside. Uh, and then in March, I actually did the Women's and Kids Cassidy, which was beautiful and perfect in time for Easter. And then I did the Kids Adventure Score, which is super fun and has been asked for since. Oh, Bliss. I have one in Bliss too. You're right. Or Squish. But no, super plush. That's the word I couldn't. So yeah, I actually have one in bliss or squish, whatever you want to call it. And super plush. I have two. <laughs> I love both of them. I wear them all the time. In fact, I have um super plush Diane joggers as well. And when it's cold, like 20 degrees cold, I will typically wear my super plush Diane joggers and either my bliss or super plush Leslie together to just, you know, I was trying to update some patterns last year. I don't have that because it's harder to keep track. Although I did, I did, I did the pattern update for the Weekender. Did I do the Men's Sierra? And then I did do the update for the Adventure Skort. I think I fell off by March. Um, and then, so that was, yeah, that was January, March, March. And then Malia shorts and I did Bethany back to back because I love me some swim shorts. Um, and I did Bethany and Women's and Kids too. And then I did Mia, like I literally, that was May 25th. Oh, that's my anniversary. Hmm. Um, and then I did not do another pattern until September 27th. That is the longest I've ever gone without doing it. Like that is bananas. Uh, yeah. And it was two and two, like doing women's and kids together. And then I went from September to December 13th. And that's when I did Clark, Ellen, and Rusty. So it was 12 patterns total, but it was like, <laughs> sorry, I mean, this is like my brain. <laughs> um, but it didn't feel like I was productive. And I like beat myself up over this. I mean, I know we all, we all have, <laughs> if you've seen the show Miranda, where she's like, you know where you lie to get attention. And they're like, no. And they're like, we all do it. Yeah. But I don't do that anyway. Um, that's my favorite TV show. <laughs> it's not on anymore, but it's fantastic. You can watch it on Hulu or IMDb TV, but that's with commercials. Mm. Um, but these voices in my head were like, you didn't do enough. You got to do more. You got to pay for, you know, help out at the house. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my gosh. We got COVID. That's actually what started. That's true. Um, we kicked off our summer. We literally came out with uh, the Bethany and immediately got COVID that first week of June. And it ruined, like, the first half of our summer. 
<laughs> we missed out on summer camps. We lost money because of those summer camps. Like it was so stressful. And yes, so I'm not going to focus on that. And you can hear my stomach growling. I'm sorry. Um, this is a new year. And like, I might not be able to do a pattern every month, but like, I really want to focus on things that are making my heart sing. And so when I made the switch to this, I was, um, very, like I knew immediately when I put this shirt on and I just felt cute. That's such a like little boost for me that I was like, yeah, I gotta do it. I know it's February and it's, yeah, it's not particularly warm, but oh my gosh. So I'm thinking for February, I have actually already started on like a flannel shirt just for women. I know y'all want it for kids and men, but like we got to do baby steps here, right? <laughs> so um, it is a great new start with this pattern. I'm pretty pumped. I do know that. I think it was like 1,500 people joined the Facebook group. But you want to know something else that's crazy? Let's see if I can... I was, so we have a membership, if you're new, we have a membership at five out of four where I just try and go like above and beyond what we already do in the main group. So we're really active in the main group. We have almost 42,000 people. Does it come with an ax only for you, mom? <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you come take my picture? We'll find an ax. <laughs> I don't do that hard of work. I'll just stand there looking pretty with my ex. Anyway, um, <laughs> I was writing the newsletter for the five out of four family, which is our membership, which I've got to figure out when we're going to open because I used to open it in February and I didn't do that. So um, hopefully we're going to open it in the beginning of March. But <laughs> I was writing the newsletter and I was looking at the stats and even with the subject line, open for your free pattern. We had a 40% open rate, which is well above industry standards. Only a 9.2% click rate. So my brain was immediately like, okay, wait a second. I mean, that's 5,000 clicks. We did 8,000 free coupons, 5,000 clicks. Like we still had 67 unsubscribers. Like did those people not get their pattern? Like I'm very confused by this. Um, oh, thank you. Uh, so it just blew my mind. So I was sharing that with Rochelle, like a nine point. I mean, if something, I mean, if I didn't have to like, you know, you know how sometimes they're like, get your free stuff and you got to jump through like 4,000 hoops and it's not worth it. Um, yeah, that just blew my mind a little bit. But then we did end up get, gaining like quite a lot of people on the newsletter list too. So like those people didn't come from my news. I don't know. If you're not if you're not reading the newsletter like come on do you even enjoy your friday if you're not reading my newsletter <laughs> i don't think the C savannah would be good in flannel who asked me that jen the reason is is you would not get this dainty feel it would not um it would not flow it's a little bit different mm, there you go oh yeah there you go see I love the five out of four family. What are suspendies? What's that, Beth? You know, Jennifer, that's actually me. That's funny. Oh, Jennifer, I missed you on the call yesterday for our shirt dress. Ooh, double gauze would be beautiful, Yvonne. Um, so, yes. So, I'm working on my next pattern. I think I, I just want to do a straight-up flannel shirt. No dart. Something comfy, something cozy. Um, I will probably do a tunic length slat, like, because, you know, that seems cute with the belt and leggings, right? Not something I would wear because I don't wear leggings, but I would do it with my, my jeans that I have on. <laughs> so that's what I'm working on. We'll see how it goes. Um, oh, y'all are so sweet. Leslie, I loved your snowshoeing picture and your Christmas card. I know I've already said that, but it made my heart so happy. Oh, Monty Python. <laughs> so funny. Suspendies. Um, actually, if Katie Farrington, Katie, if you're on this morning, Rochelle saw your picture and she actually started working on those overalls. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you that. So you didn't hear it from me. But hey. So, all right. I have to tell you the winner. Sorry, Kim. I'm, Kim was dutiful and like sent me the winner and then I just... 
Jane Parrot Malone. Oh, it was her first time watching Tipsy Tuesday. Hey, you're going to want to email Tiffany. The email address is info at 5 out of 4 patterns. And let her know that you won a $15 gift card to 5 out of 4. So, yay, I hope you come back and hear this. <laughs> I mean, that would be terrible if you didn't. Um, so, we, if you don't know, if you leave a comment, we pick a winner every week for a $15 gift card. And if you have questions, like if you have a sewing question, I can answer it if I see it. Um, usually it's just my time to like try and let you see what's up with me. Sometimes it's messier than others. I have a tendency to cry. <laughs> I didn't used to. I blame those children. I don't think she sleeps. She definitely is. Like she just blows me away. I'm like, yeah. I hope you're shopping for fabric for this, Yvonne. Come on. I want to see all the savannas. So that would really, like, if I could see a new savanna, no pressure. But if I could see a new savanna every day of February, I'm pretty sure that would help my mood tremendously. Just saying. <laughs> oh, my gosh. My kids. Yeah, it's bananas, right? All right. So that is all I have for you today. Unless you, I got to show you one more thing. Hold the phone. All right, so you know my kids, if you're not new here, you know that my kids have gotten into musical theater, okay? <laughs> and then they found out I can sew. So, um, Kellen tried out for the uh, Aladdin at his school. They do, I mean, I, they treat it like I'm thinking it's going to be like in the cafeteria and it's going to be terrible. Nope, they treat it like a real production. Um, but he got the genie. And so he comes home with this, and I get off the phone yesterday with the person in charge. Apparently, he's like walking through the audience in the beginning, and they want him to wear this. What what kind of shirt would be genie esque from Aladdin? Can he wear underneath this? Because my first vote, <laughs> because I'm funny, uh, was one of those T-shirts with the abs printed on it, preferably in blue, because I thought that would be hilarious. Uh, I don't think they thought that was funny. Kellen thought it was hilarious, though. But what would you pair with this? Because I'm pretty sure that we'll end up looking like a pirate if I'm in charge. Um, but here's what I need to do. So I don't, I have no idea if this fits him. My guess is a solid no. A tank with a wild print. That'd be, you know what else would be fun is like a Hawaiian shirt. I would just go with the Hawaiian shirt and sandals. Why are we doing that, like, the suit? I'm not in charge here. Anyway. So they want me to attach this, like, around the lapel. I think we're going, we're going for a little more gaudy then. When can I, where can I see your patterns? Eileen, our website is the number five, and then the words out of the number four dot com. Um, white and gold. Balloony sleeves. That's why I'm worried he's going to end up looking like a pirate. If not the abs. <laughs> Ugh. So he has this, you know, if this outfit, if I can't get this to like to where it looks halfway decent on him, I'm actually going to suggest that we recreate that Hawaiian outfit he wears at the end of Aladdin. How fun would that be? I only have seven weeks and I want to do my job, but that would be really fun, right? And then he could just wear Birkenstocks um, and he wouldn't be sweating. Oh, a gold t-shirt. <laughs> I think you're probably right, Jenny. So here's his other outfit. Let me hang this back up. Um, yeah. And it already has a run on the back. And so they're concerned. I, I don't even know. I think, like, we're going for God again. Neon green. Are they not doing an Arabian flare? I don't even know. Amy, I, I just, I, this is what I've been given. Um, and also has a pin mark right there on the front, like, but from 10 feet away, you can't see it. And I think this goes across here somehow. So this one has a vest. I mean, he could just wear it by itself, but they want two different, um, one is like to be like the host, almost like, I mean, Kellen is made for that, by the way. 
So it's sort of like that. I mean, this is some, some flair. And then the pants are definitely like parachute -y pants. Yeah, we got some work to do. To, these feel kind of nice, honestly. I might try these on. <laughs> ah, bare chested. It's freezing. Oh my gosh, so funny. Yeah, well, so they want him, like, the beginning is just sort of to be funny. Kellen definitely has, like, um, Eileen, if you're on Facebook, if you want to join our regular Facebook group, it's just five out of four patterns. Somebody can drop a link on YouTube, probably me, when I'm done. The vest with no shirt. I think that would be fun, too. Um, so, yeah, I got these yesterday. He has yet to try them on. We have dentist today, and he has rehearsal. Uh, and then right after this, I actually need to leave. <laughs> I'm going to meet the director for Into the Woods at the, the like, storage closet. Y'all know I'm new to, to, to costumes. Oh, Jenny, I do too. He's going to be so funny. Um, oh, it's Ian. K-E-L-L-E-N. Um, just in case you're curious. Everybody spells it A-N. I haven't seen it, Laura. Um, so yeah, I, does it bother anybody else that these are two different colors or is it just me? If I keep running my mouth, I'm going to end up making a whole new one and we don't want that. I mean, it could be fine. It's fine. It's going to be fine from far away. I don't know. Maybe I'll start looking. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I have going on because I'm insane and I don't know that no is a full sentence. <laughs> Actually... In my defense, it makes Kellen super proud to say, my mom made this. And so I'm really pumped that he got the lead like that kind of blew our minds. And he's just so excited. And he is so funny. Um, dial it back. <laughs> just do what they ask, I know. But, I mean, if I'm going to put my name on it, I want to be proud of it too, right? Uh, anyway, we'll see. You know what I could, oh, and I'm also, <laughs> I'm also making the Iago costume. Although not making, I'm really just like sewing some feathers to a cape. That sounds easy enough, right? There's going to be alcohol involved. Okay, on that note, um, go check out the Savannah. Keep an eye out for, um, I know, me too, Mariana. I, me too. And I love your new puppy. Um, and Reevy has that quilt that I bought from you on her bed. She loves it so much, the snowflake one. <laughs> and I'm just happy to see you. Okay. So, <laughs> go check out the Savannah. And um, make your, if you got a free pattern, make it and share it with us because we want to see it. All right. Take care, everybody. I'm a mess, but I'm your mess. And I'm really excited that you're here. So remember, never stop sewing, never stop growing, and tune in next week. All right. See you soon. Oh, I got to find the end button. Bye.